Here we have a circle with a center at the point O. Also we have points A, B and C on that circle. Uh, quadrilateral OCBA is actually a trapezoid where OC is parallel to AB. We know the angle between the side AO and diagonal OB, which is 37 degrees. Also we have ED, which is normal bisector of the side OC, but it means that point E is in the middle of the segment OC, and AD also at 90 degrees to OC. D is the point of intersection of that bisector and diagonal AC. And we asked to find the angle X, which is angle ABD. So first of all, notice that we have a circle. And once we have a circle, we have many lines, which are radii, and they create isosceles triangles. So in our case, we have AO, BO, and CO which are congruent to each other, same length. And now let's look at triangle AOC. That's an isosceles triangle. So angles at the base should be the same. And let's call it Y. Y here and Y here. The next thing notice that the angle at the top, that Y at the top, and the angle right here, which is CAB, should be congruent to each other because they are alternate interior angles for parallel lines OC and AB. Next thing we're going to do is to connect point O and D. In this case, triangle ODC, the gray triangle, is an isosceles triangle. And that's because ED is side OC bisector and the altitude at the same time. It means that OD equals to CD. Angles at the base should be the same, and that means that this angle O here should be the same with this angle C here, which is Y. The next thing, let's go back and look at triangle AOB, which is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle, angles at the base should be the same. One angle is Y plus Y, 2Y, and the other angle B here also should be 2Y. The next thing we should note is that this 2y and this angle on the top, COB, are alternate interior angles for parallel lines, so they have to be congruent. So this angle here is 2y, but that 2y angle consists of this gray angle of y and also this white angle, which also has to be y. And now let's look at the speech triangle, which is ODB, and the green triangle, which is ADB. Those two triangles share a side BD, and the angles opposite of that side are congruent. They're both Y. What happens in this case? It turned out that points ODBA lay on the circle. And in this case, quadrilateral ODBA is an inscribed quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is inscribed if and only if sum of opposite angles is 180 degrees. It means that angle O, which is 37 plus Y, and angle X together should give us 180 degrees. I posted links here if you're interested in a deeper discussion on inscribed quadrilaterals. So now all we need to know is angle Y. In this case, we'll find X. It's easy to find Y, for example, from a triangle AOB. We know all the angles. Sum of all angles should be 180 degrees. So we have 2Y, we have 37 degrees, and we have another 2Y. From that, we can find Y. And now we substitute this value of Y into this equation. And that gives us the final answer which is x equals to 107.25 degrees.